Hello, in this video, we're going to take a look at the new Infinity Freight semi or uh, articulated lorry, as we call it over here, and see what we can do with it and box it and uh, play some GTFO with it. So without further ado, let's get out the box and see what we get. Okay, so you res the box out and you get this nice crate. If we just click on the crate. We will get the goodies inside a copy to inventory. And let's see what we get in the box, shall we? So just delete that. So you get your basic instruction guide. You can texture these vehicles. They're fully mod and you can modify it to your heart's content. There is a custom color generator hood, the basic instructions for it. You get a starter edition of the Heterosera map, which is really cool because if you don't know the roads around the, here, that's fine. This thing will actually show you. In fact, let's pop it on, shall we? If you pop this hood on, here you go, look. So you get a map. This is the whole of the Heterosera at all. And it basically shows you the roads. Um, so you can navigate your way around the place, no problem at all. Now, this is the free version. And all it really does is just shows you in green where the roads are and in red where the water paths are. And as you can see, it doesn't really do anything else. There is a full version though that you can purchase and that does actually allow you to click on it and you can change the map out overlays. So you can have road overlay, you can have rail overlay, you can have water overlay. And you can also in the full version set marker points. So if you're going on a job and you want to set the location of the job, let's say it was smugglers port, it would be right down here. So it would put a little marker, I'm trying to think where that is now, here, I think. And it would put a marker down there and then you can just follow the map until you get there. So you get that included in the pack to get you started. Um, you get the 40 foot box trailer. Let's have a look at that, shall we? No, I've never unboxed this myself, so I have no idea. Okay, cool, look at this. So you just get the box trailer on its own here. So if you just want to have this thing parked up outside your hub or your house or wherever you might want to be look at that the details on here are fantastic um i mean i don't know what semis and states are like completely they may be slightly different but certainly from a european truck standpoint and the, seeing the ones i see around the uk you know the the details are fantastic um you know, even looking under here, look, you've got all of the suspension springs and everything there. Um, fantastic. Now, I believe, oh, look, we do a bit of cam in there. There's cargo in there as well, look. As you'd expect in such a truck. Uh, let's see, can we make the door go up and down? Oh, here we go. So the trailer itself has got options to couple it and decouple it from the cab. A truck menu. Show the cargo, hide the cargo. That's the display of the cargo. Reset the trailer if it gets all, you know how Second Life goes, if it gets all crashed out, you can just reset it and open the shutter. There he goes, look at that. And uh, close the shutter. Beautiful. Uh, and you can also change the texture. So presumably, let's just have a look at this. If you wanted to change it, that's the white one, obviously. Uh, let's see, uh, texture, blue, white. Give it a chance to load up the wondrous Second Life texture loadage. Here it comes. Need some uh, hold music for this, don't we? There you go. Look, nice blue. And there's black and white, white. Now, I'm probably going to go. Is it burgundy? Since it is the season um, and Santa Claus is coming, and so I'm pretty sure most of you will get that reference, uh, I'm probably going to want to go out in a red truck because it just feels right. And that's what the trailer looks like. Look at that. Beautiful. Um, so it's as easy as that to texture that how you want it and again you can park it up and then you can have your, your cab hook up to it or decouple from it or whatever so that's just the trailer we'll just delete that now in here we've got the actual whole truck so let's pop that out aha okay so there you go all hooked up and ready to rock and roll now then I will not profess to be the best truck driver in the world. In fact, I'm probably the worst. So before we start, I think what we'll do here is we'll just spin it into a better leaving position. For me, 
mock me as you will. <laughs> but you don't want to see the carnage, which is me trying to maneuver that out. Bearing in mind, I have never driven this before. So it's big. Uh, it feels right. It's got some great, look at the detail. It's got some great details. Look at that. See the pipes and everything for the uh, hydraulics, the exhausts, everything. I think I'd go as far as to say it's rather sexy, but um, yeah, it's a nice truck. So without further ado, then it's a nice truck, but shall we play some GTFO with it? So first off, I need to get into it. Let's uh, open the door. Okay, good times. Now I'm going to guess. I can, oh, I can do that. If I sit in it, I presume, I'll shut the door behind me. I am ready to rock and roll now then. As is the case in, in most vehicles in Second Life, you have choices. You can either drive it in this view, uh, where you're just kind of cam following it, uh, and if that's how you prefer to play in the sort of third person or whatever, then fantastic. You can play that way. Personally, I'm a bit of a mouse for you kind of guy. Uh, I come from a simulator background, so I'm very used to actually sitting, you know, in the saddle and looking out the window and stuff. So click on the vehicle. Let's have a look. We can start the engine, stop the engine, honk the horn. Oh, yeah. Um, so we'll start the engine. There we go. Of course, one big blinding problem I've got here is I haven't even put on the uh, hood. <laughs> so if I'm going to play GTFO. I'm not going to get very far without the hood on, am I? Okay, all the stuff here. So, uh, let me see. Um, do, 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 do. I've got so many folders, probably way too many folders. Um, oh, dear goodness me, which one is it? I'll be... You'll have to bear with me. I've been working on all sorts of things at the moment, so I've got things everywhere. Um, and for some reason, completely forgotten which particular f stuff I'm using right now. Here we go. Okay, for this, I'm just going to go... Obviously, you won't have all this stuff. Just put on your normal GTFO stuff. I'm just going to use the beta just so it doesn't affect anything in the real game world. And we will take a get cargo. I'll take a freight run. I'll give it a second. Unfortunately, this sim is quite chewy. Um, so it does take a long time to do things. Um, there's a sandbox on this region, and I think that's probably the cause. So, first of all, I think I'm going to choose to go to Bedstraw because that's on this continent and it's a nice place I know how to get to. Um, Bedstraw Town. So we'll find Bedstraw Town in the list here. Look, Let's see what goodies I can deliver there. Humanitarian rations, factory stock. How much have we got here? What do I get paid? 330. 360 is good. 420 is even better. 420. Can I get more than that? Greedy, greedy. Can I get more than 420? I think 450. You'll do. Okay. Not a bad job. Looks good. Routes four and five. Confirm. Right then. Takes 15 seconds to load up. Your load time may be different in the real live GTFO game. It might actually just be two minutes, I think. Um, there we go. As you can, I don't know if you can, I'm hoping you can hear the sounds. Probably should have checked that before I made the film. Um, but yes, you, it, you can hear the, the, uh, you can hear the, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, the canopy opening and closing at the back. Can't think of the word. Filming live, you see no edits here. Okay, so we're going to try and drive to the location. Um, I think I remember the way. So here we are. Now look at this. So all, all the controls. Now I don't think the controls function. I think they may be static, but they still look lovely. Um, you've got CB there. Look, forty channels. Back in the 80s, I remember the uh, CB craze. Oh, we've got a bed in the back, look. Full on jobby. So, to drive this vehicle, I'm going to go with arrow keys. I'm going to. Yeah, no, that's good. 
yeah okay that seems to be the way um so up arrow go accelerate back arrow don't taking it ginger because not yet familiar with how wide this is um this is wide so i'm gonna deliberately drive wide in the assumption that if i don't i'm gonna go and put my trailer through someone's living room okay so i'll just do ginger <laughs> ginger movements as you do give it a bit more accelerator right i feel good that doesn't feel like i've hit anything yet so we're doing great so immediate impressions it's really easy to control this at low speed gentle taps on the uh, keys look steers pretty nicely right perhaps i can give it a bit more juice now nice engine sounds nothing too offensive it's not like ripping my house apart oh there's the sandbox no so it hasn't actually gone away it's just moved um, lagomosis let's get past this once we get past this it's all good a bit of sightseeing the australian uh, train depot on the left there and there we got the plusa sim which is also a hub in gtfo oh sim crossing oh okay so here we go sometimes driving in a cell can be really fun look at that see i'm kind of glad that happened really uh, the challenges that you face when you're trying to deliver your goods are somewhat more challenging than they are possibly in any other kind of simulator in most simulators for trucks you just have to worry about driving the truck in second life you have to worry about all the other things that happen sim crossings namely being one of them okay so this sim is quite difficult to drive in as I say, there's quite a lot going on. A lot of people, a lot of bots floating around in this area, unfortunately, and they do tend to cause a little bit of lag. So I'm taking it gingerly at the moment, anyway, because I don't really want to boom it just yet, and especially not with all these people about, or what I suspect are bots. Um, so we'll climb the hill. This has got realistic physics, this truck. So as you may have noticed now, I had to put some more gas on to be able to get up the hill. Uh, if you don't, it will act like a real vehicle would and it will start to slow down. Right, brakes on. Oh. Okay, cool feature number one there. It's going nuts though because I'm pushing buttons, right. Yeah, I'll I tell you what, the lag is quite bad here, so let's just... I'll demonstrate that when we get out of here now. <laughs> Here's the embarrassing bit. I've actually forgotten which way to go. I think I need to go left. So we'll try and come out of here and s swing it to left. Again, I'm guessing I'm very wide, so I don't want to go too fast here. I can't see the back end, that's the only thing, so I have no idea what the back end is doing. <laughs> but but so far, I'm not, I don't feel like I've hit anything. I've not, not, not got stuck, so... Okay, let's boom it down this road. Now, I do tend to try and keep on the right-hand side. It's very easy for someone like me, be, being a Brit, to try and stick on the wrong side or the right side, depending on how you look at it, of the road. But generally speaking, we drive on the right-hand side of the road in SL. I say that, and let's face it, you drive wherever there's not somebody driving. But, you know, <laughs> I'm guessing that's generally the feel. Um, it's a nice road here, some nicer things around. I've recently flushed my cash. It's almost like I hadn't prepared to make the video right now. I've been meaning to make this video for a long time, to be honest. Uh, Claire, the creator, did say to me, would you, would you like to make some videos about my truck? And I said, I'd love to. And uh, I've just been so busy doing other things, I haven't actually got around to it. So this is the first time. So you're getting it as it comes, raw um, and direct. So this is a nice road. Let's give it some more gas, shall we? Oh, actually, look at that. No, it does work. Did you spot that? The controls are working. I take it back. Uh, if you look at the lower part of my screen, both the RPM and the speedo do actually work. I did not know that. And I wasn't expecting it. As I've said, I've not actually driven the truck before, but I made the assumption that they weren't going to move, so... I will take that back. Uh, way hey, ah, you see, now you don't get this in Euro Truck. So onward we go. Oh, there's a zoo. Look, I'll have to check that out sometime. It's a beautiful experience, though. This is not hard to drive at all. I'm not struggling. In fact, I'm SL roads being what they are. That you know that they're not on perfect taxis. It's like. The game is a very digital because of the whole vectors and everything. You know, it's it, it's it's at one vector or another, and there's not no in between. So sometimes you have to kind of comp try to compensate for this weird, almost diagonal slidage. 
that you get and the fact that you can't quite point the roads never quite the vehicle will never quite go straight along the road kind of thing it's um a limitation of the way the virtual world works unfortunately but gentle adjustments though little taps that seems to be the way to go and I mean I don't know what speed I'm going sort of SL wise uh, kilometers per hour or whatever but um, right I'm now going at, that's okay that's full speed now so my foot's flat to the floor pedal, pe what's it the pe pedal to the metal baby <laughs> Can have a convoy moment in a minute for those of us that remember convoy. Um, this here's rubber duck. Uh, they were the days, eh? Um, we don't get nice big trucks like that in the UK, sadly. Um, what was that, a Kenworth or a, I think it might have been a Kenworth? Fantastic trucks, though. Um, I guess we just don't have a big enough country to have a monster truck to carry loads of stuff a long way. Um, this this truck is very common on what you get. If you come to the UK, this kind of lorry is what you see on our motorways all the time. Um, pretty much how they haul most stuff around Europe, really. But this is fantastic. It's really nice to drive. I mean, this is how I like to drive, but some vehicles are not really... They're kind of geared for you to drive them in the third person rather than driving them inside, um, which has always been a nightmare for me. Now, this is a very laggy sim, so you will have trouble steering in it. Try, try your hardest to just stay on the road. <laughs> That's my advice. Try your hardest to stay on the road. It's all you can do, really. The goods are still in one piece. I haven't t tipped it, rolled it, or done anything bad to it. Now, I have got insight. Uh, we're nearly at the destination now. I have got insight that uh, this vehicle will detect a jackknife. <laughs> so do be careful when you're manoeuvring it. If you jackknife it, 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 it will tell you. Right, I'm going to back off the juice now. Let's see those, con see those controls working down there, look at that, look at that the RPM is coming down, look, that's fantastic um, I don't know if it's got an indicator or not it might automatically indicate when I turn around the corner, okay that's really too slow yeah, need to learn my, my gearage, but okay, this t feels like a tight road so I really want to take it wide okay, that doesn't feel like... I'm, it's like, because I have actually done a bit of lorry simulation stuff before, I kind of go wide anyway uh, let's just use borrow one of these people's bays shall we just crossing the sim in we come uh, oh, I'll just borrow this person's bay I think so hopefully they don't mind um, guesstimating uh oh am I crossing the sim again or am I just lagging I'm just lagging it's okay okay scary 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 not gonna be parked straight maybe it's a bit oof. right there's quite a bit of lag there um, I think so <laughs> Ironically, the sim causing the lag just derendered at the last minute. That was wonderful. But anyway, we're here. We're here. So let's have a look outside the truck. Good grief. Okay. So actually, look, I didn't do a too bad a job. Look at that. I mean, obviously, my <laughs> my parking needs a lot to be desired. You'd probably park it properly. I think most of you would probably make an effort to park it properly. But you get the idea, right? So, I mean, I've just driven it in there. And I don't think I did too badly. And I don't think I crashed it off anything. And I didn't hit that parked car. So that's another good thing. Don't fancy paying the insurance for that. So now we're here, let's deliver the goods. So deliver. Now, I believe this does have has animations, but let's see. Uh, in, in fairness, and I will point this out, the animations may not work. There you go, here comes the thing. May not work completely smoothly, and that's not actually the truck's fault. That's GTFO's fault at the moment. Um, but don't worry, that's all in the works, and uh, will be fixed at some point. So you'll see there, apart from all my gobbledygook on the screen spoiling it that it's actually unloading and if you keep watching uh, the load time on this there you go so the vehicle loads and unloads just like any other gtfo vehicle which is cool the timing is off but the timing is off as i say because that's a known a known bug at the moment uh, in gtfo where the load times are all a little bit askew uh, but as i say that will be fixed in the future and load times will be normalized so then everybody's vehicles will have set load times and animations and things will be a lot more in sync with everything else but that's it we've just done a journey in what i want to affectionately name arty the articulated lorry you can call him semi if you like that's all good but that's him that's how he drives um i'm not going to do anything else right now just going to wanted to show you the unboxing of him and driving him so you can go and buy yourself one you can buy it from satellite you can buy it from here at bedstraw i think or off the marketplace um it's time to truck 
with a big truck and then the challenge of course and the, ah, the one thing i didn't show you which let's do that now shall we um let's do that now let's i think the engine's still running check this out hmm <laughs> yay camera view right check it though check this right do you hear the beeper Shit, how do you steer this? Um, okay, look at this. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Look at this. Look at this. Can I move that out of the way? Oh, have I hit a... Have I hit a... Hit something? Snag in the road. Um, I think I might have hit a snag in the road. Oh, look at that. Come on, come on. You can do this. You got this. Fantastic. You see, you got the beeper going and everything. Look at that. Okay, spot a lag there, but it's all, it's all good. See, the challenge is. See, look at that. So you can reverse it. It's probably got faster speeds. I'm not even going to dare to try going back any faster than this. But I mean, as you can see, you've got full control of this. Look, let's bring it around a bit. Bring it around a bit. Beautiful, look at that. Bring it around a bit. Okay, but that's a bit too much. Okay, and then just gently bring her around. She starts to straighten up. See that? that no, that's not bad actually. I can, I, I can. I'm proud of that. So yeah, you can reverse it round. It's fully articulated. Does exactly what you'd expect an articulated shook or semi eye as you call it, to do. So have fun with it, as I'm going to no doubt have lots of fun with it too. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you the other bits because guess what? It doesn't just do this. Hell no. It also has adaptages, adaptages, attachments even. Uh, there are different versions. There's different cargo. This is a, obviously a standard box truck, but there's also, I believe, a logging truck and uh, a container truck. So we'll look at those in a different video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. This is the Infinity Freight semi truck and cab over. Go get it.